Okay, so here it is, an affordable air quality monitor. So what do you get? It comes in uh, this box uh, in which uh, once you open it, you will get the sensor, you, an instruction manual and the USB cable. And the USB cable is uh, used to power on the device, which uh, runs from a, a regular 5-volt uh, uh, charger. As to the sensor itself, it feels uh, pretty light. It's got a power button or a sync button. And once you set it up and uh, configure your access point through the application, it's all pretty simple. Uh, down there. So uh, basically it has uh, two lights, a green being online and an, a red one when it uh, detects uh, some uh, problem or it's unhappy about uh, one of the air quality uh, metrics it has stood application. I uh, uh, I quite liked it. You got the live uh, data from the sensor. You also can uh, scroll down and see a graph of how uh, the value has changed across a day, 30 days and 90 days. Got here icons for calibration and presets for office, family and uh, uh, children. And those will uh, set different uh, alert levels. So uh, currently uh, it's uh, not happy with the HCHO, which is some uh, kind of uh, organic uh, pollution. You are welcome to read about it online. It also gives you the temperature and the humidity. The TVCO uh, is also measured here and the levels of uh, uh, CO2 are uh, also measured and I can uh, definitely see that it uh, captures the data. I don't have the tools to uh, show you or to measure how accurate it is, but definitely in a non-ventilated room, it gives higher uh, ratings of uh, the pollutant uh, air quantities. So uh, right now, as we speak, uh, I have uh, on purpose poorly ventilated this wind this uh, room so i will open a window and we will be able to see uh, how the uh, parameters uh, will uh, change okay so in the live data we uh, will see the data uh, changing uh, as to insides and the to uh, overall build qualities, it uh, feels uh, pretty solid, uh, but the, the, the plastic quality is uh, uh, it's good, it uh, looks good, it's pretty light and you can see that the a uh, red light has gone down. You can connect uh, several of those uh, sensors and browse within the application. See, see, here I can see a status, which is an online. And uh, once I click on it again, you can see that the level has uh, gone uh, uh, down. And now when the window is open, the room has uh, ventilated and now it's in the a green zone uh, also the same for the levels of uh, uh, co2 uh, etc so uh, to sum it up it's uh, it definitely uh, measures the quality of air i cannot uh, check how accurate the measurements are but they look uh, pretty uh, accurate and uh, respond well to the changes in the environment. And now, once we have uh, seen uh, how it works, uh, let's see how it works inside. So I will take out the phone and uh, disconnect the power and disassemble, disassemble the unit to show you what's inside. So in order to open it, you need to remove this uh, plastic uh, 
black strip over here and unscrew and those uh, two screws and now let's gently uh, probably to open see what's uh, inside okay so uh, here see the uh, the circuit uh, it looks like a microcontroller it's the H266 so hmm, probably can uh, have some customized firmware like the Smota here the USB mic the micro USB for power and the reset button and here we have the sensors placed here and uh, here okay and here I guess it's some power for the ICs etc this looks like a uh, maybe it's a UART or something like this and this is probably the programming uh, port for the device here we have the uh, the Wi-Fi uh, antenna so it's it looks like a pretty solid design that uh, utilizes a very well-known uh, uh, controller uh, as to the sensors uh, by can't uh, recognize them so I don't know to tell you about the accuracy uh, while in every room settings it's uh, responded uh, very well to each uh, change of uh, having uh, one person in a room or two person in a room I, I have seen the values uh, growing up and also the a red indicator is very useful so by the end of the day when I see the red indicator I just uh, open the window and that's what I do so let's uh, put it back together and connect it back to a uh, power just to make sure that the LEDs are aligned well and here we go let's screw back the screws and second one and put this decorative uh, strip back in place okay and we are ready to power it up so connecting the micro usb cable and we have the flashing light until it connects to the wi-fi and it takes for it some time to uh, recognize what's going on so we have the red light on okay so thank you for watching um, uh, my overall opinion it uh, gives a pretty uh, good indication of whether the room is uh, uh, well uh, ventilated or uh, not so I'm definitely happy with this uh, purchase if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.